Welcome to the 22nd tutorial in this series on HTML and CSS. The first thing that I want to let you know is that I removed all the relative and the absolute positioning from the last tutorial as we're not going to need it for the, this tutorial and the next upcoming tutorials either. So I've got rid of that just to let you know. What we're going to be going through today is colors and how they work. As you can see before we've declared a color as blue, gray or black and that's not really best practice and it's not ideal basically because there's so many shades of blue you don't know how the browser is going to render that color so a better way how we're going to do it from now on is using the hexadecimal value if you didn't know the hexadecimal value that we that we can use in HTML is um, it takes six either letters or numbers and how it works is basically you can use numbers from 0 to 9 and you can after that use letters from A to F so basically how this works the numbers you can use 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and after that it goes A B C D E and F so how do we make a color code out of this what we need is a red green and a blue value the RGB value that's what the browser is going to understand so how we do this in hex we need the first two um, letters or numbers that we're going to enter stand for the red, the next two are for the green and the last two are the, for the blue, the RGB. So if we go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 for our sports, as you can see we've got six digits in there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll save that, come over to our browser and as you can see sports has now gone black. If we wanted to make it the total opposite of that we'd use F put six F's in there and there it go it's completely white this hash value basically just tells us well it tells the browser that we're going to be using a hexadecimal value to declare our color well, let's go through a few more of these examples so instead of gray over here we're going to use 6677EE so we're going to save that refresh and that's the color that you get and if you want we can do the same with black over here and paste that so we change that to somewhere in the middle say 7 need another value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 we'll save that scroll down and there's our politics value as you can see it's fairly similar because we've got um, the red value is 6 here and the red value is 7 here they're not going to differ that much and all the other values are fairly similar as well but like I showed you before if we went say 2-2 two, two, save that come back over here as you can see it's changed to a totally different color now just to refresh that's why it's a lot better to use RGB than it is to use the standard words that we were using before such as red green and blue because there's so many different colors that you can use I think it's around 16 million colors that you can use don't quote me on that but and that's basically it for this tutorial just to keep in mind that it is a lot better if you use the hex value than it is if you use the standard word notation that's it I don't know what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial but I'm sure it'll be a good one thanks for joining and good